Hello everybody, in today's video we're talking about the changing seasons in Arizona. Now some people have the opinion that there are only two seasons in Arizona, summer and winter, but here in northern Arizona I'm going to prove they are wrong and we're going to go through some of the places in Flagstaff and Sedona today and see if there really are four seasons and if we really are experiencing fall here in northern Arizona. <laughs> Starting my adventure today at the United Methodist Church in Sedona off the 179 and you can see the pumpkin patch is all set up. Now it's early in the day so a lot of people aren't here yet but uh, there's plenty of pumpkins to choose from. People in Sedona are getting psyched about Halloween and uh, it's a great place to come by and get your fall pumpkin. Now in this part of Sedona a lot of the trees are junipers and they don't shed their leaves so not quite as apparent right now right here that fall is starting except for the sale of the pumpkins making Halloween around the corner. So I'm in West Sedona right now and there's a little bit of evidence that fall is starting. The leaves are starting to turn yellow but they're not full-blown yellow yet. So I'm gonna take a drive up one of my favorite tree line street here in West Sedona and then I'm gonna go through the uh, uptown corridor so you can see how that's going and we're gonna kind of go past Slide Rock State Park and see if the leaves are turning out that direction. So let's just take a little ride and see what's going on here in West Sedona and if we're not seeing enough evidence of fall then we're gonna go and move over to Flagstaff and check it out over there. So I'm driving through one of my favorite West Sedona neighborhoods and as you can see the leaves here are still pretty green. I mean some of them are starting to turn yellow but you really don't notice that until you're closer to the 89A where you see some yellow trees. So I think for me to get the full effect of fall I'm going to go through Uptown and kind of finagle my way through Oak Creek Canyon and go out to Flagstaff and see what's going on up there because right now in Sedona or at least in this part of Sedona still looking like Light, late summer. So I'm going to cut through Uptown Sedona to get to Flagstaff today because I want to take the 89A. It's a beautiful scenic route through Oak Creek Canyon and you could see Uptown not looking super fall like but then again a lot of the trees in Uptown aren't a type except that one on the left that shed their leaves so um but we're gonna see some beautiful scenic views in a few minutes in Oak Creek Canyon now if you would like me to come back to Sedona around Thanksgiving time um check out the leaves again I bet they will be all yellow and orange orange and ready to spread. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. So I am in the Oak Creek Canyon in Sedona and as you can see behind me the leaves are turning. They're not that full-blown orange yellow like you see in the height of the fall. So it's late October and really the leaves should all be yellow in here but they're not quite yet because we had a very long hot summer. So I think it is coming but fall is late here in Sedona. So we might have to take a drive all the way up to Flagstaff to see the full-blown beauty of fall here in northern Arizona. All right, so there are some leaves on the ground. Actually, there are quite a few leaves on the ground here, but we're still not in full-blown fall mode here in Sedona. So we may have to venture a little bit closer to Flagstaff to get the full effect, and I am headed that way next. Okay, I decided to pick up a friend and we're driving through Flagstaff right now. So you can see some of the leaves are turning. Some of them are a little bit red already, uh, but you still have plenty of green trees. So we're gonna head out to the Arizona Snowball Ski Resort and see what's going on there at a much higher elevation. In fact, we're gonna ride the gondola to the top and see what kind of view we get of all the Flagstaff from the top. So now we're talking, take a look at the beautiful yellow vibrant color. Now you'll see there's still a lot of green, but those are pine trees. They stay green all year, but the aspens and the birch, they are definitely turning and ready to shed their leaves. And now we're getting close to the top, getting ready to um, enter Arizona Snowball Ski Resort and 
all of the trees that are not pine or not juniper are turning and getting ready to shed their leaves for winter. And now we're in the parking lot. Uh, I want you to see how pretty it looks with the treetops and the sun kind of nestled behind the clouds. You can see the ski lifts there and we're going to find a parking spot and go take a look at the grounds and ride the gondola. So you see this wussy ski run behind me? That's the kind of uh, run I used to do when I could ski. <laughs> the baby bunny hill. That was my favorite. Maybe a couple of them a little way up, but that, yeah, that was not uh, my thing, skiing. Even though I did love to ski, I'm kind of klutzy. Not very athletic, so. But it was fun. Probably not going to do it again, but uh, I do have some good memories of skiing when I was younger. Look, there are deer wandering under the ski lift. I had to zoom in so my hand's shaky, but they're really cute to look at. did something with that plexiglass front because we got a lot of scratches and stuff. So the channel is Living in Northern Arizona where I'll teach you everything there is to know about living in the northern half of the beautiful state of Arizona. My name is Dawn Dickinson. I am a real estate agent. So if you ever have questions about buying or selling a property in Flagstaff, Sedona, Verde Valley, or Prescott, feel free to reach out to me. My team, my contact information is always in the description below. We have a little more time than yes. on the ski lift where you gotta jump right jump. now. <laughs> 11 by well, memories. Wow, that's nasty. Jeez. Hi guys, welcome. Hi. Hi. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on out. Let's see if I can oh step out. Whoa. Alrighty. So I have made it to the top. We're at 11,500 foot elevation. I have not been up this high before, especially when it wasn't ski skiing, although I'm a terrible skier. So. <laughs> When I used to ski here in Snowball, I would never go anywhere near the black runs. I would go only at the uh, green and the blue hills. So, uh, and I have not skied in a long time, but it's definitely been fun taking the tour here from the gondola. Now, one thing that is kind of a shame is there's some kind of forest fire. So there's a bunch of smoke kind of obstructing the view, but still it's amazing up here. Uh, it's very chilly and, uh, uh, but a great view, definitely worth it. The air is very thin but it's, it's a great way to spend an afternoon.
Thank you. So this trip to Arizona snowball today has been really fun. It's just unfortunate that we're doing the controlled burn because you can see it's really smoky, kind of made the view not as nice, and it did kind of smell like smoke on the top, but that will keep forest fires from happening when they do the control burn, so we just have to live with it here. So Snowball will do this gondola day trip uh, in the off season, which is going to be sometime late May, and they just closed down on October 22nd. So it's already closed for the season. It's a great ride to do in the summer and the fall. You can see how beautiful it is. It's pretty inexpensive to do this. I booked tickets for the two of us online at the Arizona Snowball website. It cost me $21 for each of us doing it online, but I know you could just walk up and do it. I saw them selling tickets in the gift shop. It wasn't much more than the online cost. I think it was $26 when you buy it as a walk-in. Now, it might be a little more if you would buy it on the weekend. We ended up going on a Thursday or a Tuesday. So that was nice. So uh, a great ride at Arizona Snow Bowl, even though it was a controlled burn day. You can see here in Flagstaff, fall has begun, even though some of the lower elevations, it's still looking pretty green. But here at Arizona Snowfall, Snow Bowl, excuse me, it's at 11,500 foot elevation. So things are going. Now in the lower elevations of Arizona, Suddenly, usually October, November, the leaves will change and they will go in a very short period, fall off the tree. So um, be expecting that in Sedona to happen pretty soon. It's gone. It's good. good. Thank you. Oops, let's see if we can uh, catch my bearings here. Thanks All right. Coming. Thank you. Okay. So we did find out when we were at the top of the hill that that was a control burn, a controlled burn that you could see down there. So nothing to worry about, no forest fire about to start here in Flagstaff. So my name is Dawn Dickinson and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you really liked the video, consider subscribing. I post content like this every single week. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back here again next week.